this is the game up. This is a homebrew for the Atari 2600 that I actually saw on Facebook today. I'm going to go ahead and give it a shot. This is actually my second time playing, and I'm hoping that now that I've put a little bit of time, it was a very little bit of time into it, that uh, I've got a better idea of what I'm doing here. Um, so I'm moving kind of up and down here. This is, I'm in the rocket ship, okay? Um, I am not controlling the platform at the bottom. And, it's easy to think that that's what I'm doing. That's not me. I am this little rocket ship and I'm moving up and down. I can move right and left with the joystick, but to thrust forward, I got to use the fire button. Ugh, tagged, 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 terrible. This is kind of how I played the first time. So I was hoping I'd be a little bit better. I'm not. So that item I just got, that's key. That's going to help me along. Um, now what I noticed the first time I was playing is that as I pick up that item, that's the item with a little exclamation point, it sort of changes the game pieces. It removes some of them. In addition to that uh, plasma ball, oh, again, I'm not doing so good. I was hoping that my second time around would be a little better, but not the case. Oh, terrible. I think I'm, I think I'm done. Oh, I'm done. That's not a good demonstration, so I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to try it again. Hopefully third time is the charm. Let's see if I can do better this time. All right. So that little plasma ball that's getting bounced off of that platform, so far not so good. That plasma ball is knocking away the brick pieces. Um, if it touches me, obviously, I will die. If the laser that comes up sporadically touches me, then I also die. And my objective is to move from field to field, which means I need to wait for all of these sort of colored brick pieces to get knocked away, to open up a field for me to sort of go through so I can break through and get to the next field, which is kind of like the next level. I'll do a little bit better this time. Now, I want to pick up that item with the exclamation point in the middle of it. That's going to sort of help me along. It's going to remove brick pieces randomly. You'll kind of notice, sometimes you don't, sometimes you do. I have to find a way, see that break at the end, that very end, that, that green bar has that break and I need to get to that. But it's not as easy as it looks. Like I could, like it seems like I should be able to break over there, but I got that plasma ball kind of bouncing in the way. Now, it, that laser will come up and get you too. It's a, it's a surprisingly tough game. That piece just came and blocked my way. I thought I was going to be able to get through. So you never know. You never know how this game's going to work. It's actually, it's really fun. I'm doing a lot better this time. Here's my chance. What? Oh, that's like mean. I almost had it. All right, let's try this again. I'm feeling good about this one. I got to get to that next field. So you'll see that the pieces are breaking away and I'm trying to get into the next field. Here's my, here's my opportunity. Here we go. I'm going for it. Ah, I did it. All right. So the nice thing is it looks like I uh, celebrated too early, but I'm doing okay. I'm doing a lot better this time, so I'm not going to get disappointed. So here's the idea. You need to you need to break through and get to you know each each field. And as time goes by, you start to see that you get these openings that open up in the playing field to help you get to the next level. It's pretty cool. This is actually a cool game. It's a very arcade-like. It's pretty fun. The nice thing about this is, you know, this is a homebrew, and, and I definitely like playing these homebrews because these guys that do these homebrew games, these guys are rock stars, seriously. The game development in today's day and age is so much easier than it was back in the Atari days. So when these guys open up their assembly programs and do this program and to make these games, I mean, it's extraordinary. So I always appreciate these efforts. I'm going to make sure that I keep a link to this game that you can download for yourself, and I encourage you to pay for it. I'm going to pay for it tonight. I like this game. This is fun. I definitely encourage you to pay for it as well. You know, I'm going to pay $10. You can set your own price. You can pay $1 if you want, but I definitely encourage you to check it out and try it, and if you like it, certainly pay for it. Something has got to motivate these guys to get into those assembly programs and do this programming for the Atari 2600 because it's hard stuff. Jeez. I got I to gotta get to the next field. Anyway, I appreciate uh, his effort on this game. It's really fun. Very arcade-like and enjoyable. I'm having a good time here. Oh, there's my opening. Let's get in there. All right. Awesome. So I'm starting to get a feel for it. Now, the first time I played it, I wasn't recording, and I died very quickly. The second time you saw, I died pretty quickly. Doing a little bit better this time around. So as I pick up that piece, watch, you'll notice that pieces of the uh, the playing field start to kind of fall away. There, see that? I grab that thing, bricks open up, not the ones I want, but still, you have to, you got to do your time. Got to do your time in the field. Ah, terrible. Yeah, there's so many obstacles. You got to, you have to not only look for at that platform that's knocking the plasma ball up there, see where he's going so you can get an idea of where that plasma ball is going, but you got to look out for that laser. You never know when that thing's going to come up. What I'm noticing as I'm playing is it seems to stay close to the moving platform at the bottom. 
So if you stay away from that area, you're pretty good. Grab this, here we go. Just trying to stay up here. It's care You have to be careful when you get up here, if that laser's coming at you and you've got two bricks on either side of you, you get stuck. You can't move right or left to avoid the laser. You gotta depend on falling down, like taking your finger off the thrust button to fall down and it doesn't, it doesn't necessarily do that quickly, so you can really get yourself in trouble. This is a terrific game. He did a really great job. Lots going on in this game. Lots going on. There we go. Moving on. Look at that. Yeah, really well done. Really cool. It's amazing. I don't know what motivates these guys. It's definitely it's a, it's a love of programming and a love of Atari to really put these games together and make them as terrific and as fun as this one definitely is. This is a really... Oh, terrible. Really good game. It's hard. It's a nice mixture, though, of hard and enjoyable arcade play. So it's not so hard that it becomes uh, disappointing and frustrating, but it's, it gives you enough of a challenge to want you to keep playing. It's a good game. Tough. There we go. Yeah, eventually you start to kind of get the feel for the mechanics and the physics of it, and then you can sort of you know, plan your, your coordination and your movements to keep alive. Ooh, there we go. There we go. It definitely gets harder as you move along. I definitely, definitely feel it getting harder. I'm not sure if it's my imagination or what, but it feels like that plasma ball is moving a little bit quicker. It seems like it anyway. There we go. Stay alive. Just want to stay alive. Yeah, that plasma ball seems like it's a lot quicker this time around. Whoa, whoa. Got me. Got me, got me. All right, let's see how far we can get. Let's see. It's definitely getting tougher. It's feeling tougher. I'm actually starting to feel a little bit stressed. I got a little bit of sweat going on right now. I'm not going to lie. Here we go. I got a lot to a lot to clear. I got to spend a lot of time alive in this field to move on to the next level. Oh, it's not feeling good. Not feeling good. Here we go. Get up here, but that's about as far as I can go at this point. I gotta pick up some more of those things and wait for that plasma ball to break away some of those bricks. Ah, it's definitely getting stressful. Oh, terrible. I think that's gonna do it for me. Anyway, the game is called Up. It is a homebrew. It's available on the Atari 2600. Check my video description for a link. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see all of you in the next video.